The Ohio Department of Natural Resources, through Ohio laws, agency regulations, and on-site inspections, strives to ensure that all drilling operations are safe for both Ohioans and the environment. ODNR oversees all facets of each drilling operation in Ohio, from its inception to its conclusion. Oversight begins with the permitting and construction of a well site and continues through drilling and closure of the well. ODNR inspectors are on site to ensure that well site construction is completed in accordance with Ohio's stringent laws and regulations. Once the operator has met the required permitting and site construction rules and regulations, drilling can begin. An ODNR inspector is on site to witness the start of the drilling process. Ohio leads the country in inspector notification requirements. The Ohio Department of Natural Resources must be notified before every critical phase of the well construction process, including the setting and cementing of each casing string. Steel pipe casings are inserted to protect the groundwater and isolate the oil and gas resources. Proper well construction and cementing of the casings is essential to the protection of Ohio's groundwater. And this is why ODNR inspectors place the highest priority on being present during these processes. Ohio is one of the first states to mandate cemented intermediate casing in every horizontal shale gas well. This means that every shale well in Ohio will have a minimum of four cemented casing strings. The metal casings isolate the groundwater from the oil and gas resources that will be produced by the well. The layers of cement serve a dual purpose in that they both secure the casings and prevent gas from leaking to the surface. Ohio leads the nation in the distance required below the underground source of drinking water that surface casings can be set. If at any point during the well construction process the inspector believes the casings may not adequately protect the groundwater aquifer, Ohio is one of the only states which can require the well operator to immediately plug the well. Once inspectors determine that the casings have been properly set to protect the groundwater aquifers, drilling can continue. The completed well will be drilled up to one and a half miles below the ground surface. This distance is equal to nearly five and a half Empire State Buildings stacked on top of one another. At this point in the drilling process, numerous layers and thousands of feet of impermeable rock separate the freshwater aquifers and ground's surface from the end of the well bore. Perforation of the well can now begin. A perforating device is lowered into the well bore and an electric charge is sent down the line, creating small holes in the casing, cement, and targeted rock layer. This process can be repeated multiple times along the length of the well. Once the perforation process is complete, hydraulic fracturing of the well can begin. Hydraulic fracturing fluid is injected into the borehole, creating fractures in the targeted shale formation. These cracks act as a pathway for the gas to enter the casing and flow back to surface. Horizontally fractured well pads can be used for multiple wells. This means they leave a much smaller footprint on the natural environment than traditional vertical wells. Once the wells are drilled, the rig will be replaced by small well heads which will remain while the well is productive. Once the well is no longer in production, the operator must apply to have the well plugged. ODNR regulations require the owner of the well to restore the location to a natural state. All structures and storage units must be removed. ODNR's mission is and will remain to ensure a balance between the wise use and protection of our natural resources for the benefit of all.